Okay, I had to reset my computer because it was being an ass. Uh, my video card is messed up, as some of you well know already. I'm tired of saying it, but I can't do anything about it right now. So, anyways, let's convince the video. I wanted to do the Awakened Units video by itself because I'm going to be doing a lot of it, and I didn't really want to have a long ass video when I'm trying to introduce people to the game and show you a little bit more depth about Awakened Awakening Units. So, again, I was lucky enough to start the game when it was Christmas, so I got seven to six stars. Um, <clears> the <throat> Japanese version has more than that, but I'm not playing the Japanese version. I am currently playing the obvious global version. So, um, you, need, you need certain units for each one. The, typically, it's one, ca uh, one, one rabbit, two caterpillars, two mad hatters. But some, like I said earlier in the, uh, the first video, some of them require certain units. So, um, this six star is a badass, and it's actually used for um, some of the wizard raids that will come back periodically. Then I obviously explain a little bit about the raids. Please go look at the first video, like I said, and explain what that was. So, some of them require less units, but more bits because of the power that they have. And then there's other characters like Snow White, who requires two particular characters, which you need. So let this one I need it to have a bug two, which is one character into another character. And then I have to have another character on top of that, which is uh, Parvati, which I don't have, and I think you only need a bug one. This one, you know, oh no, I need two bugs. So I have to get two copies of Parvati when the when the raid comes out, I have to go beat the raid. And then, um, like I said, acquiring this is kind of tricky at the moment. It doesn't show up that much, and, and there is a way to get it with the ghost store, but I don't want to really sell any of the units I have, because I don't know in the game, like, the game's still evolving, so some of the units that are currently five stars, or even four stars, eventually uh, could possibly, excuse me, not eventually, but could possibly go to a six star. So I would hold on to any units that you have at the moment and wait for the game to develop a little bit and not really worry about the, the Humpty outside of trying to get it from the Mad Hammer uh, Friday mission and, and try to get your luck right there. Um, again, I'm going to wake in Modred because she has one of the best things in the game. If you want to see what your character has, as you can see, I have high damage to one enemy, the lower HP, the lower the HP, the more powerful the attack, maximally boost party attack for five turns, perform a super counter plus no heart panel. So, basically every time we're hit, I get to, uh, uh, obviously I get to counter, and my, I'm going to put a ton of attack on this, I'm not going to put HP or recovery, <coughs> I'm not gonna, there's not going to be no heart panels, and I counter on hit. So I can do a tremendous amount of damage each time I'm hit because of the counter. So if I want to see what the card does in the 6 star form, I just hold it. As you can see, the art's different. And now I get high damage to one enemy. The lower the HP, the more powerful the attack. Um, and also, there is another ability. You can ignore, protect, and destroy panels when you are in front. So when you're, I'm assuming, in front described when you're, like, obviously the first out of the four in co-op mode. I'm assuming that you can ignore, it says you can ignore and protect, um, you can ignore, protect, and destroy panels when you are in the front. So there's certain things that the, the boss will do, like they'll give you timers, they'll cut off some of the colors, they'll give you virus, they'll give you sl uh, silent or sleep. So um, again, I don't know much about the game, but the more I learn, I will definitely make more videos on it so that way I can give you the information that I don't have. So as you can see, I have no secondary skill at the moment. And it's just massive damage to an enemy. I have no bugs, and you can see the art is different. So let's awaken this. I've been I've been waiting forever to awaken her, man. I have been waiting to have all these info as much information I could to make the first video, and then I wanted to make this awaken unit video. This is my first six star. Uh, thank you, by the way, Nate. If you know if you don't know Nate, Silent Scope for showing me this game because it's a fantastic game, and I love the co-op in this. Um, if people are actually using teamwork. If they're not using teamwork, it gets kind of shitty. And I wanted to explain something, and I didn't get to do that before, which was the alchemy fruit. And the reason why I didn't get to explain that, where is Modred? Oh, because I can't wait for him. So I want to enhance Modred, Modred, excuse me, right here, with something called the alchemy fruit. And the reason why I want to do this is because it raises the skill level. So I'm going to feed all these alchemy fruits right here. It'll take me to level from 1 to 13. I 
and the scissor, scissor would max my skill, so maybe I don't want to use all seven. Never waste materials, boys and girls, ever. Like, if it says max, make sure, like, do what I'm doing. Go through it. It's tedious, but see, it says skill max from one to max. So, hold on, let me just go ahead and see if I'm doing something wrong. Okay, skills two. Now the skills three. Skill is four. So, that maximus four of these maximus skill. So I'm gonna obviously, uh, and I'll just add, I'll add duck while I'm at it because I'm trying to save money here, just in case. So these are the ducks I was talking about that you can earn throughout the day. Okay, and now the level uh, six star goes to level 100. So make sure you don't burn <coughs> unnecessary units into your character. Oh, we got a super success. Um, I didn't talk about that, but it's obviously part of the game. Success, good success, super success, and I think ultra success. So I went from 1 to 41 in one go around. Again, I have plenty of more duck units that I farm. I'm only going to feed the blue into there because I don't want to waste anything at all whatsoever. Let me see if the thing is still max. It is, okay. <coughs> so hopefully I get another success or ultra success or something like that. Because the higher this unit, the better. Ultra success. Oh, it's funny because I was, I was like, I'm not gonna get that in here, and I just got, just got it. So from one to 57 and two, two, two go arounds of ducks. So now I want to awaken probably my second best character, which is Xmas Valley Elf Holy Insurgent, high red damage to an enemy. Um, supposedly this changes. We're gonna find out right now. <coughs> I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. I'm so used to holding it. I guess he doesn't go much. I, I mean, that massive damage is literally massive damage. Um, I could have sworn he was better than that. But I'm going to awaken him because it costs 50,000 and I farm my ass off so I could. And I'm tired of having 4 star characters on a shitty 5 star. So now he went from a 4 to a 5 star. And now I'll be able to see what his 6 star version is. Hold on. Okay, so once he goes 6 star, he gets an ultra raid damage to one enemy, boosts red units attack for 3 turns, absorbs junk panels, and I can't read the rest of it. Absorbs junk panels, enhance destroy damage panels when you are in front without taking damage. Panel enhances destroy damage panels when you are in front without taking damage. Hmm. I'm not sure what it means by destroy. It might be a bomb or maybe like a huge panel that you've made on the on the floor. I'm not sure. I'll ask her. I'll ask uh, for more information. Like I said, the more I learn, the more I'll definitely give to you. Um, so let's awaken some more units real quick. So we're going to awaken. Next on the list is I've been dying to get this one up. OSC. Christmas OSC. Santa Claus OSC gift giver. Spawn one random crash panel, high damage at random, media damage to one enemy twice. Um, I heard her 6 star is amazing. She's in the mid tier, not one of the higher tiers, but in the middle. And it looks cool. Excuse me, I gotta pop my neck. Spawns one special crash panel still, and medium like I said. So then you, if you want to see what she does on the next one, just click her. Click that. <coughs> that looks. That art is badass. Holy Knight special gift. Randomly convert one panel to a special crash panel, which is basically a, a panel with her picture that's huge and it's green, and it'll blow up once it's used, which is it's an extra large plus high attack boost for two turns. Now it will do instead of medium damage, it do high damage to one enemy twice. So when they use my panel. I'll hit twice to that one enemy, and then obviously the bomb will blow up and blow up whatever panels are around me, adding to the damage of the current person whose arm turning is. That's cool. And she requires the Humpty, two, uh, she requires one Hatter, one Caterpillar, and one Rabbit. 
So we're going to awaken again the other OSC that I got, which is the regular OSC. Which is basically without the Christmas stuff, as you can see, it's not all festive. And her name is Interpreting Prophet. Uh, same thing, spawn two panels, crash at random, high damage to one enemy. But her five, her six star might be different because Christmas are different from the regular um, counterparts. Ultra rare! Spawn two crash panels at random, high damage. Wait, 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 wait. did she go higher? Is she a seven star? Bro, she's a seven star. I should have fucking. Whoa, whoa. What does that require? Wait, am I looking at that right, or am I freaking out too too quickly? I think I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. What level am I at right now? I go to a five. Okay, hold on. What? Okay, hold on. Hold on. We gotta figure this out real quick. Okay, I am a five star. Okay, never mind. I'll go into a six. I was about to freak out. Okay, so this one spawns three. Uh, ugh, spawns three special crash panels at random. Massive damage to one and one enemy. I actually, like the Christmas one a little bit better. Um, three panels is nothing to scoff at, but the other one just has a little bit, a little bit more utility with like that special stuff. I'm not sure what it means yet, but I definitely will find out, like I said, and add more information that I get to the game. Um, <coughs> my plan is simply just to have Humpty, so I gotta do more Red Hatters for my yellow. Anyway, and hope that those dropped. Um, so that is the conclusion of the units, because I can't awaken these yet, because I need two yellow caterpillars and one hat. Or, two more hats for these anyways and I'll definitely do a video for those and awaken them and show you the art because I think the arts are really cool for this game and I just opened up a lot of space by doing this so I hope you enjoyed the video I hope I explained a little bit of things and also showed you the art what could be done um, what happens when you go from a three four to five or six star obviously I only went from uh, four to uh, pop, you know, four to six possible so um, again Joe underscore a is my twitch distorted pride YouTube and Twitter uh, please like, follow, share, subscribe. Man, I haven't been sleeping. I streamed for about six hours. Got on. I've been doing videos, chopping shit up. Um, I'm gonna try to edit. I'm just not that great at it yet. And um, right now, I'm just this is you know me off stream doing this. But the other stuff, I just get from the stream, cut it up, put it out for you. And I hope you enjoy it. And I'll talk to you guys later. Sorry about my phone. <laughs> all right, come to come on the stream and join the Discord. Discord will be in the description below. I'll talk to you guys later. All right, peace.